my name is Jake Hammond. I'm an agricultural science teacher here at Mount Juliet High School. I teach the Ag Mechanics Pathway. Uh, we were just lucky enough to get a CNC plasma machine. It's AutoCAD programming. The students will be able to program and draw and code uh, different shapes in two-dimensional, be able to draw 3D drawings and be able to render things out of it with some high-tech machinery that's being used in the actual industry. So something like this will definitely give them uh, the opportunity to go to the 2TCAT or some other local community colleges, get a two-year deal. This will be a piece of advanced machinery that they would probably have to get secondary training on, whereas now they're already going to be familiar with it. As far as your four-year uh, students who want to become engineers, this is already a tool that they'll have probably in their shops at their four-year universities that they're going to be used to. So your mechanical engineers, aerospace engineers. So basically any fabrication career, uh, any construction, a mechanical career, uh, this machine is going to help them give them the latest technology to be able to be ready to enter the workforce a step ahead of everybody else. My name is Zach Tompkins, teach at Mount Juliet High School, Computer Science Foundations, Computer Applications, uh, Coding 1 and 2, Web Design and Mobile App Development. Problem solving is a huge part when problems arise working with other people to figure out something that could be really long and grueling and stressful i do believe that we're working on moving into the python coding language which is a little bit easier to understand with web design we use notepad and html programming they put it together for the first time and they're like wow all i did was type a bunch of angle brackets and now here we have this web page and also in mobile app development, we used MIT App Inventor, which uh, shows you how to create Android mobile applications. It's a tough course. It's, it, they are meant to be tough. I like to think that I'm making a lot of fun and that we have a really good time and that you're learning some really applicable stuff. So my name is Robert Brindos. I teach digital electronics and design engineering. The, the skills that underlie all of my courses are troubleshooting, uh, problem solving, uh, inter, uh, collaborative working, uh, so students have to learn how to work together to solve problems posed to them. We have a CNC mill. We have two 3D printers. A lot of STEM classes are computer-based. They'll do it in the computer. They'll do some 3D modeling, which we do as well. We have a, a suite of software called SolidWorks. So we have all of the range of things that um, that you need to do not only the uh, brain work, but also the hands-on piece of it. In CTE, all, we all have to have like a extracurricular student uh, organization activity. Uh, we choose the NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge, and they have built it from scratch. And they go and compete uh, in April every year at uh, Huntsville. Our program is, uh, is designed for the student who is academically competitive. As long as they want to deal with uh, technology, problem solving and troubleshooting, this is a program for them.